What is up guys? Welcome to What We Watched. I am Matt and we are back with one of these little holding the camera phone uh, by myself and quickie reviews for another movie. Uh, Amazon Prime actually had a deal where you were able to go and uh, get early release tickets for the new DC movie Aquaman. And so I went tonight and I am happy to report it's a very solid movie. Uh, no spoilers in this whatsoever, so I won't give anything away if you haven't seen the movie yet. But I know a lot of people are curious because DC is kind of back and forth with it when they decide to make good movies. But this one is very good, especially given the um, source material that they had to work with. Aquaman is a very complex character. Aquaman often gets kind of made fun of because it's not, you know, it's not Batman. It's not Superman. It's very hard to make it. There's a lot that you have to cover, and this movie does a very good job of doing that. James Wan, the director, made a beautiful film. The CGI, the visual effects, all that looks so good, and just the colors and just how it all works together is a great film. Um, I would not be surprised to see this movie get nominated for a lot of visual effects things. The acting is sometimes missed. The uh, story has some parts that could be improved, but the visual storytelling is by far one of the best DC movies, if not one of the better um, superhero movies that we've seen from a visual standpoint. Uh, the way that they did Atlantis, the way that they did all the different parts of this movie um, was just massively impressive. So if you like visually appealing movies and just... Um, if you like to go to the movies and be in all, this would probably be a very good movie. I'm not sure if they're showing it in 3D, but I'm guessing I saw it in 2D, but this would be a great IMAX or 3D movie because the visuals are just so great. Um, just as far as how it fits into the overall DC universe, as far as the movies go, um, it fits in fine. Uh, there's a few things that are a little bit shaky and um, it could have had a stronger tie-in with the rest of those movies. But as a standalone film, this was a really great look at what makes Aquaman Aquaman. Um, a very good telling of an origin story that doesn't feel super formulaic or super, um, you know, something we've seen a million times. They do a great job explaining who he is as a man, who he is as a hero, and um, kind of what makes him special. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. You should definitely check it out when it comes out uh, this next weekend, especially if you like superhero movies. I would probably put this in the same category as a Wonder Woman um, as far as where it fits on the DC movie spectrum. I thought that it, uh, Jason Momoa did a great job. Amber Hurst was really great as Mira, and there was just good acting across the board. Had some flaws, had some things that I weren't, I wasn't super thrilled with, but for as hard of a movie as I would think Aquaman would be to make, this one pretty much knocks it out of the park. This is basically, in my opinion, one of the best ways that we can represent Aquaman uh, as far as what you were given. Jason Momoa does a great job playing him, and uh, we get a lot more depth than we do in movies like Justice League, where, uh, you know, he was great, and you kind of got glimpses of that, but to see him kind of carry a full movie was really enjoyable. So uh, if you were kind of on the fence about this movie, I would definitely tell you to check it out. Uh, I very much enjoyed it, and it would be a great movie maybe to watch uh, with your uh, family or friends on Christmas. One thing I would say is it is a very um, PG-13-ish kind of action movie. There's some, um, you know, there's obviously violence and action and stuff like that. There's a little bit more language than I'm used to when it comes to even the PG-13 sort of thing. So if you're planning on going maybe Christmas with your family or younger kids, maybe just see it by yourself first. Um, and then maybe kind of make that decision based on, you know, what you think as far as that goes. But overall, very good movie, very exciting, and they did a very good job. I keep saying very, sorry, but a fantastic job of portraying Aquaman and kind of what he uh, stands for and who he is and was able to tell his story in a great and creative way. Once again, visually stunning. Uh, fantastic on that end, good storytelling, solid storytelling that fits in with the bigger DC universe, and you should definitely check it out. 
All right, well, those are my quick thoughts on Aquaman. Uh, once again, spoiler free. I'll probably do a spoiler video maybe in a day or two once more people are started to see it. Um, but once you see it, let me know what you think. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook, and I will check you guys out in the next video.